Right, after some sieving, as you can see, I've got considerably less, less cobble left now and a lot more other stuff. So let's put that away. Put that away. I'm going to take that out. That's not going to do me anything. Um, and that can go there. Right, so let's pick this up and turn this into the iron gravel ore. So we've got 16 of them. Right, so we start off with four diamond gravel ore. Now, if I go back up to that, click it, and again, that gives us four. Now, we can shift click, and that will be poured out into the basin. Now, bearing in mind, we have four gravel ore. This is going to give us nine diamonds. So that is, oh, look at you, come here, you. Die. Thank you. Silly billies. Why for you not die? Die. Oh, he's gone. Okay, anyway, back to this. So if you shift click, you will get it. See? And then that, you can put in there, and you get nine diamonds, guys. That's what you need to do with it. And you do the same with this. So you go one two three four shift click and it goes into there let that cool and then you get nine of the things thank you very much so one two three four put that in there get that and put that back in there so as you can see I don't know what... Come here, you. Right, there you go. Um, I don't know what the actual equivalent is, but yeah, that is one of the best ways of doing your... Because you can take these... Let me show you with the copper. Put them in a smeltery, a furnace, and it will give you one for one. Okay. when it actually does it see one for one but this gives you a lot more so i'm going to put this away i should do this on my like off time actually now i've got you what do i need to do now no, no that one please right <clears throat> oh right i am a tinker how rude the workshop is up and running. It's now time to upgrade your tools. Try crafting a new iron pickaxe. All the information you need to make the iron pit pickaxe is in Materials for You, Volume 3. The work... Uh, oh, yeah, I've just done that. Okie dokie. So, Materials and You, Volume 3. Did you not give me Volume 3? It did say three, didn't it? Right, okay. This is two. I've just told you all that. Oh, right, okay. You can add iron, gold, diamond, and jewel, and copper. When you have ore in the tank, you can use patterns to create new materials. That was it, yeah. So I need gold to create the... Um, patterns that are permanent yeah but the other patterns i can use just as a one-off so that is fine so now if i get that out hopefully this will work mm. actually let's go to the library and make sure i got that volume that book um materials and you volume three mm. that's what happens if you don't get the book by the way 
Patterns are an essential part of forging. You can use the stencil table to create new patterns. Once you have liquid ore in your forge, you can interact with the pattern to obtain the object or part. Ah, oh, that's what you've got to do. So, let's put you back. I won't be making you anytime soon, but I will be using you. So, you go one, two, three, four. And then, what do I need to make the actual thing? Is it in here? It is in here. Part builder. I need I need that. And I think I definitely need that, don't I? Have a look here. I am doing an iron one, aren't I? Yeah. So I'm going to need that and that. Right, so take the pickaxe in your right hand and just click on the bottom of the forge and that will give you your head. Now for the binding you do the same. Just click Why for you not click? It is a binding pattern I need, isn't it? It's been a while since I've done this, guys. Oh, and no, it's a wooden one. Right, okay then. So now I'm going to need wood, which I don't think I've got. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to panic. Because I should just do... <laughs> I'm just going to nick from the bookshelf from my shelves, quite fan <laughs> frankly. Right, so we click on here, I've got the pattern and I've got the things. So I can click and take two of them. Right, so now I can go to this and I can get my iron pickaxe. Ta-da! Brilliant, now you know how to use a smelter's forge. The next sets of challenges will help with farming automation. And let's get started with the watering can, which we will next time guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope i had a bit of information for you thank you so much for your support not only on this episode but also on the chicken block my god 700 followers i hit yesterday so thank you very much guys i really 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 appreciate it if you like this episode please hit a thumbs up because it does help and comment with anything down below i do answer all comments and i definitely read them all guys thank you so much for watching always try to be nice never fail to be kind and i'll see you later bye